Hello, hello Stampin' Friends. It's Julia Mazur with Simply She Stamps. And it's Monday night, and I'm here to show you some cute note cards using the Zany Zoo, or as we like to call them, the Zoo Crew. Um, there's a special suite, and it's called um, Zoo Crew. And it has designer series paper, and um, a stamp set and dies, but I'm just gonna use the stamp set tonight. Uh, super cute, and I learned this technique uh, at our, during our, um, sorry, hold on, I'm just pulling up the video to make sure if anyone's watching and if anyone has questions. Uh, learned it during the World Card Making Day event, which was held earlier this month. Let's see here. I see my, I don't want the whole screen. And I have a new setup. Hopefully uh, we'll get a nice clean picture today. And we are using watercolor pencils. These are note cards with envelopes. And I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink um, just because it stamps very nicely. And it is uh, not a stays on because the stays on is, um, solvent based ink. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to pull up the video, see if there's any comments. Okay, well, if you have comments, if I don't get to them tonight while we're, while we're doing this live, then I will get to them um, on the replay. Okay, so let's get started because this is a pretty uh, quick card. Um, let's see here. So I have my note cards with envelopes and a little tip here that I have for you. They are pretty scored and the kind of, the groove that kind of is a valley actually goes on the outside. And with any pre-scored card, you kind of want to make sure you line up the edges too and then use your bone folder to make the nice crisp edge because sometimes, you know, we are only human and even the pre-scored uh, might not be scored uh, totally correct. So I have found if you line up the edges there and then use the bone folder, you get a nice crisp edge. Okay, I'm gonna use my little uh, turtle here, he's so cute. And I'm inking him up in the Memento ink. And I'm gonna stamp him kind of in the middle. There we go, got a little bit of ink on my fingers, but that's okay. And I have the happy birthday to you, which is in that set. I'm actually gonna put that down there. And there's cute little music notes. We're gonna put the those up here. So he's singing. And now my little tip here, when you are just stamping like one layer cards and you have animals or people or whatever, they're kind of, or even any kind of image, um, you wanna ground them. You don't want them floating away. So this is my new favorite stamp. I'll show you in a little bit where it comes from. And so we're grounding our guy. Could have put that up a little bit higher, but that's okay. Okay, so now he's not flying away so much. All right, I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green. That is the lighter of my green. I am using the, oh my goodness. There's two sets of watercolor pencils and I'm using the assortment number two. These are on page 125. There's two assortments. Um, the basics has the black, gray, white, and other colors. And then this, there's 13 in that one. This one that I'm using has 10. And we have two greens, two blues, a yellow, a pink, a purple, actually like three blues. Okay, so my light source is up here. He's looking up in the spotlight. So I'm going to color him and I'm gonna put most of the color down here so his face has that highlight. That's what you wanna do when you're watercoloring, figure out where the water, the light source is. Now we're not necessarily watercoloring here with the watercolor pencils. You can use these without adding water to them, but I have a special something for you tonight. Okay, and I'm making sure I got some uh, dark kind of towards the bottom of that. And then I'm gonna press harder on the edge of the shell. Not that I get a totally different color, but 
the color is more solid. I just lost my, my computer went um, on hibernate. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. No one's watching right now. Maybe on the replay you have a question. Okay. Now I'm going to use the garden green and we're going to put some color there. And you know, some people are very talented with these watercolor pencils. I am a quick watercolorer. I am going to use the Knight of Navy here on the microphone and the bottom I'm gonna press kind of hard so I get a dark color and up here I'm going to do more lighter touch. Okay, so cute just like that, but OMG, wait till you see this. I'm gonna bring my Wink of Stella and I'm going to color. It's kind of adding the water and he is gonna be glistening now. And it just kind of blends that watercolor pencil as you can see the difference between the light green and the dark green here, okay? And these note cards are kind of like a whisper white thick, so they kind of, they do hold the moisture a little bit better and there's not so much water with the Wink of Stella here. And as you can see, I'm just kind of moving that color around and we'll go like this. And when you're changing colors, you just kind of brush on your scratch paper and that color will come out. If you need more glitter, you just push where it says push. And I'm gonna do a little bit right there. Okay, so there is our guy, so cute. I have also done the um, raccoon. And let me show you the balloons and how beautiful they are when you use the watercolor pencil. So that was the Granny Apple Green. Here I have the Crush Curry and Balmy Blue, which is the lighter blue of the blues we have here. Well, I do have a Coastal Cabana, but. And then this one was the Flirty Flamingo. Okay, so I mean, you could color the balloons, the whole thing with the colored pencils, but just adding a little bit of color and then I'm gonna start with the yellow and adding my Wink of Stella. Oh my goodness. Amazing. And then they're glittery. You probably can't tell so much on video, but in person. And see how easy it is to just put, move that color around And I just love the Wink of Stella because sometimes moving the color around with just a watercolor brush makes the paper pill up. So cute. Now, did I bring my gray, my other color set? I have a basic gray in there. This is a basic gray. So I'm gonna color his eyes, around his eye socket and around his nose and add some color towards the bottom of his tail. So this is the basic sets. And I'm just gonna lightly color him this way. And around here, put some in his ears there. Okay, and wait, oh my goodness, it's just so much fun to see what happens when you add that Wink of Stella. Do his little mask. I think I need a little bit more. Don't squeeze over your project because I've learned that if you squeeze too much, a lot will come out at once. And I'm pulling that, ink, that color from the bottom towards the tip of the tail. All right, and I'm gonna leave, well, I think I did color his body. Yeah, I did color his whole body. And then I'm gonna brush on some in the middle there. So cute. Very simple cards. Now let me show you where I got this fun little stamp. It is from the Trucking Along stamp set. It's the road, but it's just a really nice anchor. You can just do this with your pencil too. You know, I'm trying to add some ground there, but I just love that. And since I pulled that out, I also made 
one of these cards, same technique with the trucking along stamp set. So I'm going to cover this one up. <laughs> Here are some of the cards that I made and I was trying to keep in line or keep with one stamp, one set of the watercolor markers. So I used the Cajun craze. He's kind of like a red raccoon. Isn't Rocky like a red raccoon? <laughs> so very fun technique, very easy. Um, when you need quick birthday cards, loving the Zany Zoo and we'll be using the Zany Zoo at my birthday bash next week. Next Thursday, there are still spots available. It's my next Craft for a Cause event. We'll be making birthday cards, some that you can keep and some that you're going to be donating to a local organization so some kids can have um, some birthday cards on their birthday. You can find more information um, on my Facebook page here or on my website, jmazer.stampinup.net. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, and I hope you come back next Monday. Bye-bye.